Um, and another really like something that no one talks about it is that it Flatpak has its own Mac OS Rosetta thing going on as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it uses QEMU to um, emulate architecture. So if you're using an ARM64 device, you can run x86 applications on it. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's that's what I mean by it's really portable and a lot more portable than app images because it's cross architecture as well. And if I remember right, the recent version of a free desktop runtime uh, started shipping uh, Risk Five support as well. There's that as well. Wow. Yeah, it's. I had no. It's really wh- cool. Why is this not a thing that more people mention? I guess hardly anyone uses ARM, but even so. I'd never heard about this before. Yeah, I guess it's... Maybe it's probably, like, Flatpak's fault because you don't have, like, yeah, really bad documentation. On, on, like, anywhere? Yeah, it's actually on Reddit. That's how I got to know it. Oh, no, I mean, like, any official distribution. Like, their website or anything like that. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, if anyone who has uh, development access on the Flatpak site is listening to this, please go and add that. That's a really cool feature. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, uh, I, th- I think you were gonna say something. Uh, no, just, I, I'm just, I'm just baffled that it's not listed anywhere. Yeah, and yeah, I guess like that's the thing. Like the Flatpak's like one of the biggest downsides is that its documentation. Mm. It. Like I've read the documentation and like, it it's something. It, it's like your average open source documentation. It yeah. it lacks a lot, and I'm trying to improve it. But it's just that like there's so many things I don't understand. So I just asked, right. and recently I took a break, like and started like programming a bit. After that, I'm gonna start like um, improving the docs as well. I've talked about documentation a lot in the past, like. The thing about documentation is no one likes doing documentation. Like, the reason why companies will hire people specifically for it is because none of the devs want to do it. None of the designers want to do it. Nobody wants to do it. Like, they want to be working on the thing they want to be working on. If, like... It's such an important thing, but especially, uh, like... Especially because a lot of uh, open source devs build something for themselves, and you can kind of get away with not having great documentation. Then, like, oh, if I, I know how to use it, it, it doesn't matter. I've done this myself. There's plenty of programs I have out there that. Good luck working out how it works, but I know how to use it. But as you scale that up, and as an app gets more and more popular, it doesn't work that that way. Someone has to sit down at some point, and eventually eventually lay out how this is supposed to work. Yeah, exactly. And this is coming from someone who enjoys writing documentation. Oh, good. I Wonderful. hate writing documentation when it comes to my own projects. Mm, so I just want right. to work on it. Like, as you said, I just want to work on it. And, like, I don't, I don't care about documentation, even though I really need to improve, like, sometimes. But, yeah, like, when it comes to other people's projects, I'm completely fine with mm-hmm. writing documentation. But for my own projects, no, it's 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 boring. <laughs> I think everybody can agree with that. 